Hi guys, so in this video, I will be teaching you on how to solve maxima and minima problems. So in this first video guys, we are going to deal with the first derivative test. Now first, let's define what is maxima and what is minima. So basically guys, we have two ways of solving for the maxima and minima. So we have the first step that is the first derivative test. And the second test is what you call the second derivative test. So in this first video, we are going to discuss the first derivative test. So this is a curve f of x so in this part of your figure you can say that as x increases here and at some point it has a transition from increasing x here this is an increasing x x is increasing and here x is decreasing so this transition point is what you call a maxima and minima point. So, in this particular point, you have here a relative maximum. So, this is a maximum. Because you have a transition from increasing to decreasing. Now, in this part, you have a transition from, this is a decreasing. So, this is as x decreases and a transition point from Decreasing x to, we have here, increasing x. So, this point is what you call the minimum point. Wherein, the transition of your x value is from decreasing to increasing. So, this is a minimum point. Maximum and minimum points are also considered as what you call critical points. Because they are the transition points. Now, how can we solve for those points if you are given this graph f of x? Now, let's go back to our normal and tangent. Now, if we draw the tangent line to this maxima and minima point, our tangent line here, so this is our tangent line, This is our tangent line. We have two tangent lines if you have this maxima and minima point. So the slope of your tangent line is actually zero because it is a horizontal line. So the slope of this tangent line is zero. So based from this concept, we can find the maximum and minimum point by getting f of prime x. Then equating it to zero by equating it to zero we can have an equation wherein we can find the points here maxima point let's say x1 y1 that is x max y max and this point is let's say x min and y minimum so the first step guys in the first derivative test is to find f of prime x then second step is to equate your f of prime x to 0. Then third, based on your second equation, you find the value for x, wherein f of prime x is 0. Then the fourth step is to test for maxima and minima. So let's go back to our figure here. So the first step is to find the derivative of this function of x. So why do we need to equate f of prime x equals 0? Because the slope of your tangent line in your maximum point is 0. So the slope of that is 0. It means that if you differentiate f of prime x and equate it to 0, you can find the points wherein the tangent line slope is 0. So you have here f of prime x is 0. And you can have that two points here. Maximum and minimum. Then, we need to test for maximum and minimum. So, in order for you to determine which is the maximum and minimum, you can use the first derivative test. So, so f of prime x is positive. Therefore, the graph is increasing if 
f of prime x is negative, the graph is decreasing. It means that if you have this maximum point here, now, so if you substitute a value which is less than x max, if it's positive, it's actually increasing here. Then, if you substitute a value which is greater than x max, if you find that it is negative, it means that to the right side, it is actually decreasing. So, you have here a maximum. And here, so if f of prime x here at this point, so this, this point is x min, y min. So, you substitute to f of prime x a value which is less than here, less than the this point so if this point is actually negative it means that this is decreasing and if you substitute a value which is greater than x min to your f of prime x so this is decreasing then if you substitute a value which is greater than this value here if it's positive it means that this is increasing so you have here a minimum point so to fully understand guys let's solve a sample problem so in this first problem we have find the maxima and minima of the function x that is equal to one third x cubed plus one half x squared minus six x plus eight so the first step natin guys is to find f of prime x so y prime Equal, so, 1 third times power formula. So, you have 3 x squared. Plus, that is 1 half. So, this is 2 x. Minus 6 plus derivative of constant, that is 0. So, you have here y prime equals. So, that is x squared plus x minus 6. Then, the second step is to equate f of prime x to zero or y prime to zero so this is zero at y prime is zero so zero equals so you have x squared plus x minus six so the factor of this so third step na tayo guys is to find your points so third step find the point so we can factor this quadratic equation so you have x plus three you have x minus 2. Then, we have this x equals, so x plus 3 equals 0. And here, then x minus 2 equals 0. So, you have here x as negative 3 and x as 2. Then, we substitute these values to our original function in order to find your y. So, at x equals we have negative 3 so at x is negative 3 you just substitute you can find that y is equal to 43 over 2 so you have at x equals 2 you can find that y is equal to we have 2 thirds then we just plot this curve so here negative 3 43 over 2 you have somewhere here so here approximate natin guys and you have here a 2 and 2 thirds. So, first quadrant is somewhere here. Now, that is our two points. So, let's test whether which two points here are actually maximum or minimum point. So, let's test for maxima and minima. So our y prime is, you have x plus 3n times x minus 2. Now let's take a look at x here. So x is negative 3. So let's input a value which is less than negative 3. Let's say negative 4. So at x is equal to negative 4. So y prime, that is, we have here negative 4 plus 3 so this is negative 4 minus 2 so this is actually a negative times negative 
it means that this is actually positive. So this is increasing. So it means that at this left side of your point here, the value of x is increasing. Now, let's try the second point here. So in the second point, let's assume a value which is actually greater than 2. So let's say at x is equal to 3. So at x equals 3, you have y prime. So you just substitute to your y prime. So 3 plus 3. You have 3 minus 2. So this is actually a positive times positive. So this is positive. So it means that this is increasing. So in these right sides of our point, the second point which is 2, 2 thirds, this is actually increasing. In here this is decreasing. So what about points which is actually to the right of negative 3? Let's say 0. So let's go back in this first point. Let's say at x is 0. So at x is 0, you have 0 plus 3. So that is positive times 0 minus 2. So that is negative. So at x is 0. So you have a positive times negative y prime. So y prime natin is positive times negative. So you have here negative. That is to the right of 3. So to the right of 3, that is negative. So that is decreasing. Now, to the left of Two, let's say x is 1 so if you are going to test first derivative your value for to the right of negative 3 should be less than 2 of course so this interval so in this interval now if you are going to test at x is 2 do not input a value which is negative 3 because it's a critical point so you just input a value which is less than 2 let's say 1 so at x is 1, let's say here, 1 plus 3, so that is positive. So at x is 1, so y prime, so that is so 1 plus 3, so that is positive. Here, that is 1 minus 2, that is actually negative. So you have here negative to the left of 2. So here, so in here, we have here a decreasing so you're connecting that point you have this graph so we can say that this point here negative 3 43 over 2 is actually a relative maximum so this is a maximum point then here you have 2 and 2 thirds this is actually a relative minimum so that's it guys, I hope that you have learned from this video, and in my next topic I will be discussing the second derivative test. See you guys!